An ACL tear is one of the most common knee injuries in the U.S. with between 150,000 and 200,000 each year, primarily in professional and amateur athletes. Now, until recently, patients undergoing reconstructive surgery had only two choices, use their own tissue for the repair or take it from a cadaver. But now there's a third option. Marty Salt has the details. Bend your knee. 16 year old Kelly Guzman is recovering from an ACL tear, mm -hmm. an injury she sustained mm -hmm. while playing a friendly game of soccer. I landed weird on my left knee, and so then I heard like a pop and a crack. Doctors gave Kelly's two surgical options a bridge enhanced ACL restoration, better known as a bear implant, or the traditional procedure, which involves taking another ligament from somewhere else and then replacing it where the torn ACL currently uh, is no longer there. Approved by the FDA in 2020, a bear implant doesn't rely on human tissue. It's made from bovine collagen to bridge the gap between the torn ends of a patient's ACL. The implant is absorbed by the body, which replaces it with its own tissue, eliminating the need to harvest a ligament from the patient's otherwise healthy knee or rely on a cadaver part. There is some data that shows by preserving as much of the patient's native ACL, you are also preserving some of those proprioceptive fibers that help with keeping a knee more stable. Both options have the same nine month to a year recovery period. So Guzman, who hopes to play soccer in college, chose a bear implant because she didn't want to use her own ligament. Aside from the stiffness that's associated with the procedure, she says the discomfort is minimal. Marty Salt, 16 News Now. Now the bear implant is not an option for everyone. It's indicated for skeletally mature patients who have some remaining ACL tissue. We'll be right back. Stay with us.